Now, you've already been uh, quite critical of the influence of the, the Chinese Communist Party in Australia. Now, you're originally from Taiwan, which the yes. um, uh, People's Republic of China have made it clear that they would like to uh, annex. Um, why do you see them as such a threat here in Australia? Well, because they're controlling people's, you know, freedom of speech, freedom of a belief. They killing their own peoples, you know, like a Tiananmen Square and the student Tiananmen uh, massacre. Um, the student is only asking for democracy, democratizing the country, and they got killed. And now, uh, and then also, you know, forced abortion. They they have this policy. A one child policy now probably changed to a two child policy, but it doesn't matter one child, two child policy. The the exit, you know, access the exit exit the number you they will want, they will force you to get abortion. And there's so many Chinese women that I've been talking to. They say they're so they are so sad when they you know they, nearly people are talking to they had that experience that they're being forced. To get a board because they have a more than one child, so you know, and then that there's no freedom of belief. There's so many um, Catholic, ca Catholic uh, Christians, and even the recent uh, Falun Gong practitioners, and they're all persecuted by the Chinese communists. They killed by this Chinese communist. You know, like the recent, the most recent case is that they are. Harvest organ harvesting the uh, live Falun Gong practitioners or other minority uh, group that uh, uh, are not uh, protest to the the government. They all being persecuted and they, they their organ is being harvested and and sold to uh, foreigner who seeking lo uh, organ transplant in China. So what they did is they they will recall all the blood blood uh, his, I mean type and then they put it on the database or whoever want to get organ transplant they will just go into the database and find the match person and then cut the person beside the room of the the, the patient and nice and fresh and then on they cut everything they can cut off everything they can and bend the body in the in the in the in the hospital. That's what are happening now, you know, and that link to, you know, in 2010, I invited a, um, uh, a lawyer, human rights lawyer, David Martas. He is investigating this uh, organ harvesting in China, uh, China the, the case. Um, and then, you know, I invited him to give a, uh, three forums in Brisbane. And I was uh, back then. I was an uh, editor of a uh, the Epoch Times Queensland, so I used the Epoch Times name to organize the event. Now, two days before his arrival, our office in Sunnybank, in south side of Brisbane, got gunshot. So you know they're so scared that their crime has been exposed. So you know we don't want. And now they own our harbors. Our government and then buying our harbors, you know, not just Darwin Poor. Most people know Darwin Poor, not just from the part Darwin Poor, Melbourne Poor, Fremantle Poor, Newcastle Poor. It's all, and now they're going to build a Gold Coast Port. So you know, they if they're controlling our harbors, they come controlling our border. And as you know, many many uh, drug or even weapons, you know, coming from China. We lost our security. This is the part of we, and then they but they bought most of our our farm land, our business. This, why would I get worried about this? You know, people are trying to escape, but now Australia government do accept uh, refugees from China, and now they are selling our country to Chinese communists. I mean, why bother to give a refugee visa to Chinese communists? They are importing the dictatorship, you know. So our government has to wake up. And but I don't think they will. I think the people, the voters, has to wake up. If they they want our country to be controlled by Chinese communists, they have to think about it, because we're gonna lose our freedom to them. 
Well, the attitude of uh, the, our federal governments of both political um, persuasions is that trade with China is always the, the most important thing. So, you know, we get most of our, um, you know, manufactured goods from China and then there's a lot of our, um, you know, agricultural and dairy products which, which go to China. And so a lot of what you're talking about now is, is swept under the carpets by our leaders because for them it's, it's all about, uh, you know, trade and uh, economy. And so that, uh, that's, that's their focus. You know, I do think it is there our leaders that they are very, uh, well, they are very naive. You know, money come by anything. Money come by freedom. Now, we should import in the skill to make to you know to manufacture for us. For, you know, um, in our country, not buying good from from our country. We exporting the resources to other country, then buying back at ten times a higher price. Why don't we? Why can't we just keep our resources for ourselves and then we develop the skill to make those products? That will provide a lot of job opportunity. And if we can keep our resources, I mean, you know that that, that we can supply our our own own need. We don't have to rely on importing uh, products. So I think is I think the government have to. Uh, focus on uh, innovative uh, strategies like uh, you know to, uh, training more more skillful people in for, in our country rather than rely on other countries. Yeah, to create more job opportunities. And the, the there's already a large uh, Chinese community here in Australia. Do, are, are they? as concerned about the influence of the Chinese Communist Party or uh, has, the, have, have, has the Chinese Communist Party uh, been able to you know, infiltrate that community and the, the various uh, groups associated with it? You know, there are two groups of a Chinese community. One group is democratic-minded people, so they, would, they, would, they don't like what the Chinese Communist Party is doing. Another group is they are brainwashed by the Chinese Communist Party. They are more worried about the money. So these people will follow the communist, the, the part, Chinese Communist Party. So there are two groups of them. Yeah. Because uh, uh, there was also um, the Four Corners episode earlier this year about the, the influence of Chinese uh, interests um you know on our politics and there was the the famous uh rally for um china's right in the the south china sea which was actually uh paid for by the uh, f uh they were paid by the communist party yeah i mean the chinese communist consulate in in australia they supporting so many um projects what they want is to control the to brainwash australian so you know they, for example, they 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 give fundings to um, uh, Confucius Institution, which is based in many many schools in the world, and so they they brainwashing our kids, and they providing fundings for Chinese media so they can write whatever the party wants, even they you know even Western uh, media's. So all they want is controlling, is brainwashing and the people, which is very dangerous. So, you know, that's another part, another reason I'm really concerned about the, 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 the influence in, in Australia. And we, we talked about our uh, political leaders obviously wanting, uh, you know, believing that trade is uh, most paramount, but there's also been um, episodes of espionage with the, the Chinese government uh, hacking our um, uh, national security uh, servers, yet it's our leaders still carry on like business as usual. Exactly. I mean, you know, because they've been bored. It's corruption. And, and people can see it. And this is another reason I was so worried about Australia as well. You know, that's why it make me uh, standing for, for the election. Uh, I just want more people to understand uh, the danger that we are facing, you know. So, you know, this, our leader have to make a stop. 
they can't rely on these Chinese communists. They are they economic world, you know, is not an answer for our our dignity. You know, we're gonna lose our freedom to them, which is you know money can buy. This has been an unshackled fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.